Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to train Darknet YOLO v4 using custom dataset. This tutorial is split into two parts. The first part will focus on downloading images from Google and then labeling those images with bounding boxes. The second part will focus on training Darknet YOLO v4 on this custom labeled dataset. So let's begin with first part. Okay, first thing that we are going to do is install this simple tool called simple image download and I have forked this repository from Riddler Q so all the credits to original author okay to install this library what you are going to do is fire up anaconda prompt and then type command pip install simple underscore image underscore download Once that is downloaded, we will be needing this small script. I have this here called download from google.py. And if we open this, it has these three lines. And here we are going to provide keywords to search on Google. So I'm going to download images of John Wick because Keanu Reeves is breathtaking and also provide Keanu Reeves. Okay, so these are the two keywords and for each keyword, we are going to provide limit. That means the number of images that should be downloaded from Google. So for each keyword, I'm gonna download 100 images. So we'll have 200 images at the end. Okay, let's run this script. Python download from google.py hit enter and it's going to take some time and it will download the images from Google and save it on our hard drive. So I'll get back to you when the process will be finished. Okay, the process is finished and if we go back to our folder, we'll see a new folder called simple underscore images and inside that folder we have subfolders for each keyword. So inside John Wick, we have 100 images. And inside Keanu Reeves, we have another set of 100 images. So if we go to Google and uh, search for Keanu Reeves or John Wick, we are gonna get same images which are downloaded in our folder so these ones so these are exactly same images as we can find on google images okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut these and just place them inside main directory called simple images and I'll remove these subdirectories like this. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to set up label IMG tool that will be used to annotate the images that we just downloaded. So you can install it for your operating system using these commands. For example, if you are using Linux, you can use these commands. And if you use this command, it will run uh, the tool and if you are using Mac you can use these commands to install the tool and use this command to run this tool these installation instructions assume that you already have cloned this repository so as I am using Windows so for Windows they provide binaries that are pre-compiled so this is the most convenient way to use this tool so I'm gonna go ahead and download these binaries once this is downloaded so we're gonna go ahead and extract that we'll have these two files one is label img.exe and other one is data folder and inside data folder if we open this text file it has all the class names 
that can be used to enerate the data so we have just one class name so we are gonna go ahead and remove these and just enter john wick as class name and save this predefined classes file and if we head back and run this label img.exe so let's run it as administrator because why not so it would provide this user interface so let me expand that okay what we are going to do is first we want to set the um, save format to YOLO and then we are gonna go ahead and open the directory that contains the images that we just downloaded so these are in this simple images folder we just select that and here you have it so the interface would present you the images one by one to label so I'm gonna go ahead and label this first image so what you want to do is you want to create a rectangle or box around let's just do the base and you want to be as much precise as possible and we are gonna select John Wick click OK and then hit save so it's going to ask you uh, to name the file so just leave it as it is and hit save and if you go back to your images folder you're gonna see that against each image you will have one text file that will contain the annotations that you just did and you will also have this classes.txt file that contains the actual name of the classes that you are using in your annotations and if we open this annotation file we'll have zero index which is basically mapping um, the class name so if we open this classes.txt again so at line number zero we have class name so that's what um, this zero represents and then we have the location of the bounding box and if we go to YOLO v4 github repository we can see that the required annotations for YOLO v4 are mentioned in this repository so you should have a text file for each image and inside the text file first you have the object class name then space then x coordinates center then y coordinate center and then width and height of the image and all these values should be between 0 and 1 so that's what we have here so everything is in order i'm gonna go ahead and label all the images and once that is done i will get back to you okay so i have labeled these 20 images as sample and we also have this classes.txt file these would be enough to train the yolo v4 darknet model and if it's not i'll annotate a few more but i think for demonstration purposes this would suffice okay so now i have these labeled images inside this folder so i will be making these images available to you if you want to use my label data set and with that i think i'm done with part one of this tutorial so we have this custom data set ready to train yolo v4 using darknet we'll do that in next video See you next time.